What's going on, Boulder, Colorado? We've got a lot of fun topics to talk about, especially one around the current rankings. ESPN dropped their FPI, and so we've got to see where the Buffs rank among the Big 12 teams. We've also got the main story here, the key one. Former quarterback for Colorado talks about them and defends them on Fox, Colin Cowherd's The Herd, uh, Joe Klatt came in and came in defense. And we talked about Klatt and how he had Colorado ranked going into this coming season, just outside his top 25, but there's faith there. And Colin decided that he wanted to poke a little bit of the bear and Klatt had to come out there swinging. We'll play that back so you all can hear what how that dialogue went because it was a pretty solid dialogue and then we'll dive in and break down what all that means so let's jump right into it here on the prime time for college football so clat went on the herd and they had a discussion around colorado right initially they were talking about some other stuff in college football but it got to that point and colin and, and as i paraphrase this before i play for you all he kind of came in with the eh, Colorado seems to be a little too loud and they need to shh because they haven't really earned their way yet. Clad had to hit him back and slow him down. But like, hey, man, let's break this down. So here's what Clad had to say. Listen to this and then let's break down what he said and how this actually translates to the field for Colorado and for Coach Prime in general. This Colorado program you're connected to. Mm hmm. I went all in with Dion. I said, nobody talks Colorado. People will talk Colorado. we will get players there. It feels a little bumpy. They're getting into their fields. They're getting it? A, I feel like Colorado's doing a lot of this. Hey, there's a new guy in town. And everybody's like, shh. You were terrible at the end of the year. You look like old Colorado. With Dion, you get the hubris and the confidence. Love it. But you got to back it up. You got to win games against good teams. What would you say about a 400% increase in wins? Is that backing it up? Okay. I'm just asking you. That's just yes or no. Yes or no. Is a 400% increase in wins backing it up? Depends on where you start. That's from. not a yes or no, Colin. It's pretty good. <laughs> yes or no? Yes. Well, then, aren't we getting somewhere? I would just make the argument that when evaluating Colorado, you can't just evaluate them in the current state of the race. You have to look at the starting line. Mm -hmm. And they were, and I said this to their athletic director, whom I love. Rick, I love you. I said to, I said to Rick, Rick George, Rick, you're the most irrelevant program in Power 5 and the worst program in Power 5. He tried to argue with me, and I stopped, and I was like, no, no, that wasn't a question. That was a statement, right? And... The point of hiring Deion Sanders, among, among other things, was relevance. Was relevance. Deion has hit it out of the park at Colorado. When you look at what they were, a one-win, irrelevant program, and what he has turned them into, all right, I understand that it went wild early in the season and it didn't finish the way that people thought it was going to finish was based on what happened at the beginning like of the season. Hockey. However, however... Look at what he did from an economic standpoint for the program, for the athletic department, for Boulder overall, and for the university. Did you know that the university, and, and by the way, there are people at Colorado, and I know who you are. You don't even like to look at things like this. At Colorado, they got a 68% increase in applications last year. 68%, majority of those from out of state. That is a huge revenue boost to the school, yeah. to the university, to the academic arm of the school. Dion has worked he has worked, and now I think the play on the field is going to start to catch up with some of the expectations or mm. hubris you're talking about yeah. that maybe he has even put out there. I think that Colorado, if they're able to protect Shador Sanders, they have a huge game week two against Nebraska on the road. That's a tough one. Uh, that's, that's going to be a tough one. There's no doubt about it. I think that Colorado can win eight games. I think that they can double their win total from a year ago. I think that they could maybe even win nine games. When you look at their schedule and you look at the, the entirety of the Big 12 Conference and what they're going to have to play, there, there is a scenario where if Shudor Sanders is healthy 
and and they maintained some of that health on the outside with guys like Travis Hunter, who I think is one of, if not the best overall player in college football, there's a chance that Colorado's competing to go to the Big 12 championship game. If they were to get in that game, they would be 60 minutes from the college football playoff. It's not out of the realm of possibility. So these people, which you just did, which is yeah. fine, which yeah. is fine, they yeah. start to say like, I don't know if it's really working. And I don't know. I don't love it. You know, he's got his hat backwards. I don't know if that's good, but that's kind of the vein that yeah. people don't like Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders is working at Colorado. And I think that the play on the field this year is going to be pleasantly surprising for everybody. And if it's not, then I'm wrong. Then I'm wrong. But, but that's what I believe is going to happen. And as you heard him there, perfect example of – Defending and understanding what's going on, right? And so let, let's break down what Clatt was talking about and kind of explain what that means for Prime for the most part, right? First off, 400% win increase, right? That's going to give Prime some grace. I've actually heard some folks wondering if Coach Prime is going to end up on the hot seat soon. And I think that, that is probably a quite preposterous notion to think that they will put him on the hot seat this early. It ain't been that long, y'all. He's only been here a year. He's going through the refresh and doing the things he needs to do to make it happen. But, yeah, that's that, that's a ridiculous conversation. But I loved how Clapp pointed out the, the big things around Boulder and the most important portions. He talked to the AD and told him, hey, you're irrelevant. And what he do? Got Coach Prime. And guess what happened? Colorado's re- relevant, right? We're talking here. We've got this channel. This channel's got over 27,000 subs. Thanks to you all who loves to hear about Colorado and Coach Prime and what they're doing. There's relevance here. And that relevance translates to recruiting and it translates to the field. Remember, Prime and him is bringing this in a new era. They're in the media era, right? They got, you know, Deion Sanders Jr. over here making the videos well off media. They're doing a lot of this stuff on the back end to give you a lot of inside access of what's going on. And so from there, the next piece that you play on is, so what does that mean for, you know, the the rest of college football, right? You start to see more others really pour into that. And so he's created some, some trends and created some, um, some, some, I guess some some yeah, trends is probably the best way to say it. Some trends that other people are taking advantage of, right? And that's huge for what Coach Prime and staff are trying to do here. And so from there, you have Clat talking with Colin about what's going on as far as the football side of it. You know, he pointed out the economic changes that you've got there. You still got Shadur. And this was the cool part. This was the big thing. He says, and I quote you, that he thinks that Colorado can win the Big 12 this year. He thinks they can contend for the Big 12. And all it requires is a healthy Shadur, healthy Travis Hunter, which of course is always tough. But with the work that's been done in the transfer portal, with the players they brought in, there's a really good chance that that can actually happen. Like, we all know that Shadur is going to be on the Heisman conversation. We've got Travis Hunter on the cover of the NCAA game. He's going to be in the Heisman conversation. And so the good thing for Colorado is, is they're also starting in a very good spot when it comes to the rankings, in which we'll go over that ranking in just a moment. So stick around for that portion of it. But for Colorado, the key thing is, is that keeping healthy, if they maintain health, there's a good chance they could run the Big 12. And with Clat saying that, Clat putting out that, professing it, and giving that prediction, man, you saw Colin's face. Colin was a little lost, like, whoa, 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 this is the what? Yeah, of course, Colin is a hater. You know, he has his moments, but, you know, he loves USC. But the key thing is this, is that Clat came in there and reminded him, no, they're building things. It may be incon- unconventional, and I talked to a friend of mine about this not too long ago, is that I really think that what Colorado is doing is not that Prime doesn't value the players and don't want these kids here. They're more so pushing to really build this team to be successful while Shadur is here, right? So that requires a lot more moving parts and pieces, but for long term st- sustainability, they're bringing in a lot of younger transfer players, which are players are going to stick around for a couple of years and then start building on that recruiting class. And so if they do that and they do it properly, Colorado has a really good chance of actually being a sustainable, well-oiled machine going into the Big 12 and beyond the Shador and Travis Hunter era. They're not going to be the last five stars. I mean, they got 
You got Jordan, the big uh, offensive lineman. You've got Nat, but th- th- you're going to see more five stars really give Colorado a look, not only because of Coach Prime, but because of everything that's going on at Boulder. The players love it there. Players are excited. They, you know, they they all are big on this family aspect that they're building, and so all they got to do is put it all together, and like I said, have a healthy Shadur, healthy Travis. Good chance they can make some magic happen. So even from there, so as I mentioned, ESPN dropped their FPI, which is their ratings. Of, it's computer generated. You know, you it does all the mathematics and determine just uh, where a team will end up as far as wins in the games, like 20,000 simulations or whatnot. And Colorado sits in here with the projected record of about six and uh, six and six is really where they're at. Six point three to five point eight, so roughly. Six close, almost seven wins to five losses. And if this team becomes bowl eligible, I mean, that's a huge jump in itself. Going from four wins into bowl eligibility is a pretty huge jump because as you get more and more wins racked up, it gets harder and harder to get to that next number. Like, it's easier to get to nine than it is to get to ten. It's easier to get to nine from one than it is to get from ten from nine, right? And then 11 from nine it's even harder because it's it requires you to win those key and big games. But the Big 12's open. So in the Big 12, they're ranked number 10 out of the 16 teams right now, right? So Houston 16, you've got BYU, you've got Cincinnati, and then Arizona State, Baylor, Iowa State, and then Colorado in the ranking, which right up front of them is West Virginia, in which West Virginia had a really good season last year. And that's a team that Colorado can also jump. Same thing with UCF. They're right above them at the eight mark. And then seven, you've got TCU, six, Texas Tech, five, Utah, four, Oklahoma State, three, Arizona, two, Kansas State. And number one is the Kansas Jayhawks, which is the biggest shocker. But they're also bringing back a quarterback and a very – stacked roster from last year but so to me as long as Colorado has health as long as Colorado's put everything together and the pieces together man there's a really good chance that this team could be something that um shock everybody love to hear from you all join the conversation hop in those comments let us know you think Colorado can run and get that big 12 championship think Joe Clad is crazy think he lost his mind I mean I don't but y'all may all right we dropped a video, and right here, you know, talking about oh, actually, yeah, the other side, talking about the good stuff. Check it out. Love to hear from you all in those comments uh, because, of course, once again, Coach Prime got some good news. So check out that video there. We'll talk soon.